Welcome to basket case builds. Regulator rectifiers on higher sung GT 650s, uh, GT 650Rs uh, are a common problem with their diode system. This regulator rectifier, I believe, isn't even original, but uh, we're going to change it out for that one down there. So this is where they sit on the bike, generally into the left-hand side frame, just um, behind the shock there. That there would have bolted into there. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this, this thing isn't even a original one. Someone's changed it. So you've got your three AC windings, in the yellow, and then you've got your positive and negative for your 12 volt DC side. So, this regulator rectifier is not even new, it's second hand, it's out of a CB500 uh, Honda, and um, yeah, that's what we're going to do, is we're going to chop those three wires there, one, two, three, and they will go into the grade section that has the three male tangs there. Once it's completed going from AC and being regulated and rectified, it pops out this side in the grey, the dark grey, as your 12 volt side. And that left tab is your positive and your right tab is your negative. And that will go, would continue into that if it was on the bike, positive and negative, but I won't be using that. I'll be isolating that that's still powered powered up when your battery is plugged in through this connector here that's for your ignition and pretty much everything it charges through that the, the wires are terribly small for for what they do they have a pretty much all of these bikes have dramas with melting plugs at one stage your stator which is behind there can take out your regulator rectifier, then you fry batteries, and then it won't charge. A whole host of things happen. You get gremlins, they run funny, especially if it's an injected bike. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna tape that up and get rid of it, isolate it, chop these three off, and mount this. Now to get this to fit over a bracket outside that's been painted and waiting to dry, but this will fit into here, like such, and face backwards. And I have the, have the plug kit over off eBay. Alright, for carrying the current, we're going to be using our 6mm wire. Um, like I said before, we're not using that fella there. We'll be sending it straight out of the regulator rectifier via that dark grey plug straight to the battery via a 30 amp fuse holder that's already got a 30 amp fuse in it ready to go yeah so a bit, a bit of work to do so we're gonna i actually had to also trim out a bit of the um, deflector or mud deflector I suppose you call it from the rear hugger from up in there um, it's nothing exciting just trim that piece off and then a small section in there as well and that just gave me room so I can Back feed the plug into here when it has the other plug on and I can clip it on. So, Alright, we're going to get this um, new bracket and we'll mount it all up and wire it in. See how we go. Alright, this would have to be one of the most agricultural things I've ever made, but no one can see it, so I don't really care. It's just tacked together, that's all it is. A bit of flat bar 
few tacks, tacked a couple of nuts, counter sunk hole there, and normal hole here. So these two holes here line up with these two holes here. As in like such, and the countersunk hole, the, the bolt sits down underneath the height of the plate, and that one doesn't matter, use a normal bolt, and then these two holes here, that one and this one, they mount the actual regulator rectifier on it. <coughs> so I'll bring you back when I've got the plate up. All right, we're in. So that, um, it's tamper-proof Torx. You don't have to use that, but that's what was available. It's actually below, pretty much flush actually with the top of that. So the back of our regulator rectifier doesn't get all marked up or vibration damage to it. And then that bolt there for the, for the wind. And then this just sits in like such if I don't drop it. So, yeah, I'll bring you back and start wiring it. I don't bolt it up nice and firm. See it from the back. Just in there, you can barely see it, but it's poking out. There. Need enough. As I said, the bracket wasn't super beautiful, but it doesn't need to be. So now let's wire that up. Like I said, I trim them off. Three of them off, light grey plug. The darker plug or get the 12 volt loop around uh, put out probably put when you're looking up into here maybe I'm thinking might drill a couple of holes in the cross into that to the to call that a little glove compartment and zip tie that um, that mount there or zip tie the actual fuse block to that and I'll run and I'll splice in the wiring to go around into the battery to charge. Once we come out of there, let's do it. Standard high sign and the cable I'm going to be using. Six mil, don't 100% know what that, um, whether that's Four mil, whatever. This is definitely bigger. Anyway, roll of it there, and I've changed location of the fuse holder. Right, we're all plugged in on the rectifier end. Anyway, we're good. We've got our positive, negative, twelve volt, and our three phases running out of the loom from said stator be one of those wires there um, the cables laying about here it's going to loop around and come across and end up one obviously on the positive one on the negative i'll split them later so what i'm going to do is I said before, I'm going to zip tie it to this loom and mount. I'm going to peel out and chop off a section of the red positive lead and splice that in the line and run around keeping the original sheath of this. I'll open this sheath up here, drop out the positive, and bring a negative across. It's our 30 amp lead. That's our system complete. Pretty neat considering it's pretty tight fit in there. 
It's not hitting anything or rubbing on anything. Like I said, you just got to take out a section of this lower lower guard that I showed before, the piece of plastic I cut out. Yeah, so looking all right. Like I, I think I've said before, or if you haven't, if I haven't said it, the ECM mount is not original. Because I don't know if this has been some converted thing or something, but normally the ECM on a Daewoo system slides down in that gap. This ECM for this machine is a Delphi. And it's even got, if you read that, a GV700CC. Uh, sorry, GV700C. ECM. Technically, I believe the ECM should have bolted here. I'll put a picture of where one should sit. There should be a flat plate with bolts and you'll, it's, it stands upright. There is nothing. There's no provision for that. Nothing's been ground off that I could see. It, someone just used to flop it and it used to hang down there. This, this one, uh, the, hang on. This one just used to hang and that's why that it's all scrubbed off because it was flopping around, jammed down in there. Anyway, so I changed it up and put this cross bracket in, bolt it in like that, and the ECM goes across like that, and then plugs in, it sits up, gets plenty of air flow, and it doesn't foul on the seat. Anyway, you'll see it when it goes back together. So I'll bring you back when we're all wired in. All right, we complete. Bolted in, wired in. Comes around through here. Positive through a 30 amp fuse. The negative obviously is running along this side. Twin core around into here. And to the negative on that side. Told you this is a bit of a Frankenstein. This ECM shouldn't be here, but I mounted it here for sanity's sake of it dangling down the side. Like I said it's before, it should have had two mount bolts there, but it never did. Nothing's welded onto the frame. It's just got half pipe clamps and some L-shaped brackets that were made up. It clears the seat. So, grab the multimeter. <laughs> see what we aren't creating twelve point four nine. Yeah, as the tell hasn't been started in a while. There's all sorts of cobwebs in. Oh, you have to excuse the uh, blinkers going off. There's no tail light on it at the moment. Due to taking that rear hugger out. All right, let's see if this thing fires up. You're gonna have to hang on. I have to use both hands. Thanks for watching Basket Case Builds. Our bike is running fine uh, since uh, having done this upgrade. Uh, the regulator rectifier out of the CBR500 that we fitted runs a lot cooler. Temperatures are way down compared to the one that was on it. Uh, as for other things, there's one thing I missed in the actual video. I didn't get footage of me 
um, terminating the ends and putting them in the new plugs due to the fact of a, I didn't realize the camera had gone flat but that's not a hard thing to do you just cut your AC and your 12 volt side cables strip them back put the little orange grommets on the cables first install your your um, connector uh, crimp the connector you can solder it if you want some people mightn't think you should some people do depends on the heat range I guess whether it's going to remelt the solder push them in the back of the plug and clip them in till they click and then uh, install the slide the rubber grommet up into the back of the plug do that through all the plugs turn them around install the o-ring on the inside of the plug and the keeper retainer plate and you're done but um yeah thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you on the next one